I fucked up, man. We went to the wrong airport. Oh. So we missed the flight. pouring outside this morning. I mean torrential rain for the entire run. No one is out here running. Not one other runner. No one. But just a little wet though. That was uh, an even 10 miles at a 735 pace. A very wet 735 pace. Yeah. I really don't like taking taxis. Ah, it's so wet outside. That's what's up, man. <laughs> My garbage bag's on the back. <laughs> my man, I'm Courtney. Nice to meet you, Courtney. Uh, I, I travel across the country doing charity work on my bike. And oh, I love it, man. Actually put me on to your, your YouTube. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, nice to meet you. You should email me. I'd love to get in touch about your charity work. All right, cool. Definitely. It's very nice to meet you. Stay dry. Man. You too, all right? God, you just meet the greatest people in this city. The boosted board performs pretty well in the rain. It's a little bit like riding a motorcycle in the rain. Traction's still there, we just gotta be careful. Generation two boosted boards are supposed to be water sealed. Ask me if it still works tomorrow. I'll let you know. Okay, well, I made it. Okay. Very very wet. I got a change of clothes in my backpack. And uh, I don't know, that was kind of fun. These heat guns are really good for drying clothes and reheating food and things like that. They also work well to strip paint, which is their intended purpose. Just never, ever make the mistake of trying to dry your hair with one of these because they will melt your hair. Casey, I met you in Nashville a couple weeks ago. It's the kid that was in the video from Tennessee that I was skateboarding with. I skated to the other side of town now. I met a kid named Austin. What's up, Austin? What's up, man? Austin, it was awesome to meet you in Nashville. Thank you for the snow globe. And I like that the Confederate flag was appropriated with stars in there. Ah. Uh... Real talk. I don't know if you can tell, but like, I've been a little distracted lately, extremely distracted lately. I try as hard as I can to hide that like from the vlog. I don't try to hide it because there's stuff I don't want you to know. I try to hide it because, because I'm not at a place, because there are things that are happening right now, but that I'm not quite ready to share with the universe, with you. And that makes me feel bad. So much of this, so much of this vlog is predicated on honesty and like me being open and transparent with what's going on in my life and my career with you, the audience. And I'm definitely withholding information right now. I'll be in a place where I can share very, very soon, but there's a lot going on. And it's like a big sort of turn, like a pivot or like an inflection point in my personal life, in my career, in my family life. And it, it's wonderful and it's positive, but it's weighing on me. And it's like all I'm thinking about. And the fact that I can't like sort of vent to my therapist slash YouTube audience only sort of promotes that frustration. So yeah, I don't mean to sort of bring things down here. I just wanted to share with, share with you a little bit of like what's going on with me right now. Um, that's all, that's all. Like regular vlogs, everything's staying the same. Nothing's changing, everything's changing. Nothing's changing. I'll just share more later. When I was driving my kiddo across country to go to college, we drove in a minivan or some sort of weird vehicle. 
I brought my boosted board with me and then I lost my electric skateboard in Denver, Colorado and I could not figure out what happened to it. Like a week and a half ago, I got an email from a guy named Alex. He works in a hotel that I stayed at and he was like, I think I've got your boosted board because it has your name engraved all over it. I found you on the internet. I would like to send it back to you. Boosted three, the pokey board is back. Why do I always write my name on everything? Because I always lose everything. So thank you, Alex. I'm gonna send you an awesome, awesome thank you gift package. Like send you as much love as I can. You're part of everything that's right. I really immensely, incredibly appreciate your honesty and like the effort you must have had to go through to like mail it back. What a pain in the ass. <laughs> today Candace and I are leaving tonight and the baby we're all leaving tonight so uh, I'm supposed to meet her at home at 4 looks like quite frankly still isn't enough time I don't know how we're gonna we'll figure it out I don't know who's less responsible with timing stuff me or Cand probably me but we're both pretty bad dude nice to meet Yo, you you're take care man I have your stroller for instance Okay, so this is a six minute ride. Then we're at the airport between security, checking in. I dropped my phones. Thank you. What are they doing? Seeing if there's any other options? Remember when I said who's worse at planning, me or Candace? I am. We're at the wrong airport, and there's only one flight out of New York City today. And it leaves in 20 minutes. 30 minutes. Are you blaming it on me? No, I was just saying that earlier I was saying, I don't know who's worse at planning, you or me, but it's definitely me. It's definitely you. So we're kind of screwed. We can't do anything when we go home. Right, we're going to go to the other airport now. We're back in the car. We missed our flight. We missed the other flight. We're gonna try and get a different flight from a different airport. You know, you guys always give me a hard time saying I always pretend that I'm rushing and I pretend yes. I'm gonna miss the flight. Sometimes we actually do miss. You dumb f***ing computer answering stupid mother machine. Agent, whatever flights you have coming up for three people, two adults, one infant. Just to reiterate exactly what's going on here, we went to the wrong airport. We flew to the wrong airport. Our flight was out of it. It's not funny. Don't laugh. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, Candace. It's just like, this is like, since I met you, this has been my life. It's so exciting, but it's also like, <laughs> it's not pure fun. chaos. Casey, chaos, my stuff. It's, it's entirely my fault, but we went to the wrong airport. So there are no flights out of this airport. So now we're going to the other airport where we see there are a couple of flights. We don't have any tickets because it's like too soon. So we're just gonna go to the airport, show up there, and just get on whatever flight they have that'll get us there. Or we'll go somewhere different. The choices are this. We figure out how to go tonight, we go in the morning, or we don't go at all. What do you think? Francine, come here. 
I thought, if Neither. I think for the one, for one second that she could fall asleep on it, so I'd say do it. And we're gonna get there at 11.30, which is 12.30 our time. So you're just, you're just throwing in the towel? No, I'm just folding the towel so we can open it up again tomorrow morning. But you definitely wanna go tomorrow? Yeah, why not? All right. And it's a long weekend in New York City if we don't go. I could still make it to my dinner with my friends. <laughs> you and your ulterior motives. This, I'm definitely not. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm coming, Francine. This was nothing more than us taking a helicopter ride at the airport and then taking a ride home, which is fun. New mask. It's all finished. One time I was responsible for getting five people on an international flight to Italy, and I was driving and we all missed the flight. Just waiting for our taxi now. You're not mad at me, are you? No. It was kind of fun, right? Yeah. It was like a fun. It was like a family trip to the airport. I don't think you're supposed to be back there, lady. Oh, but you can. Be back. What's a diet coke? The baby's asleep. Candace is out with her friend Marcy having dinner. Everything's cool. You know, the only thing about tonight that was a failure is that we didn't make our flight. It was a great night. We got to ride in a helicopter, spend time together as a family, have popcorn. We are going to leave, but tomorrow morning, I think. I just wore some swim shorts. Figured I'd skate in. I put my backpack in a garbage bag. 